All right, so now we want to add a legend, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate the table uh, of the legend as well. So if you pick the surface object, which is our surface slope analysis surface, on the menu, the ribbon above, you have labels and tables. So we're going to click on Add Legend, and from the drop-down or from the uh, command bar here, we can select slopes. We're going to choose dynamic as the behavior and then you can pick where you want the table to be. So we're going to select over here and we'll roll in our wheel and zoom in on it. Now if we take a look at this we can see we've got some precisions out to the hundreds place and we really don't need that. It looks like we got square footage for the slope. So again what we're doing here is we're showing that you know, we've got a certain percentage uh, acre wise of a slopes between 0 and 15 and then 15 and 25 uh, so on and so forth so what we're going to do is we're going to pick this slope table we'll let's hit escape first make sure we only have the slope table so hit escape just to make sure you have nothing else selected select the slope table right click and go to table properties from here there's a little pencil next to that table style slope. We'll go ahead and click on edit. And that brings up the slope style. So we'll just move this out, down here out of the way. And then down here, you've got slope tables. And you've got minimum slope, maximum slope, and area. And we want to adjust those. So if you select under minimum slope, double left click here on surface range minimum. It'll bring up a dialog box. Now you want to pay attention to this. This may be... Uh, something with, with Civil 3D, um, but you have to drop this down and pick Surface Range Minimum. And this gives you the ability to change how you want this to be displayed. So our format is percent, that's fine, but our precision, we want that to be just one. We don't want a decimal precision. We're not going to be that precise with our slopes. There's no reason to display it down out to the hundredths or even the tenths because we're using 10 foot contour intervals. So you know, it doesn't make sense to go any any more precise than just an even foot or an even percent. So what you want to do, and you don't want to click OK yet, you want to click on this arrow. This is key. This is important. We're going to click that arrow, and that's going to move that over. Now, it looked like it added it, so it looks like it's, we got two of them. So if that happened to you, just go ahead and select from that arrow there and just delete that, get rid of that. What it's doing here is this is kind of hard to see maybe with the orange but these codes is what it's showing you is the precision values and all of these properties here okay if you haven't been exposed to that in previous learnings this just gives you kind of what's happening here so um if we click on that you can see how that's one percent right or that's out precision is, is one and not zero zero one or zero one i'm going to click okay and then if we do the same with the maximum slope, I'm going to double left click on that. And you'll see here, if you click over here, it says, you know, surface range maximum. So that should be what you have here, which is surface range maximum. I'm going to click on this. We'll set that to one. Don't forget to hit the arrow. And you can see how that changes these values here. And we'll click OK. Now we're going to do the area. So we're going to click double click on that we're going to change our unit to foot now before we do this again i failed to do this the first on the minimum slope just select this over here by selecting it over here whatever you change it won't add it it'll just modify it so if i change that to acres same thing with the precision we don't need it that precise and i'm just going to actually we do need the acres because let's go to Let's, let's go to 0.1 acres because we're dealing with acres, not square feet. And let's see what that looks like. And then we got to hit the arrow. We click OK. And then if we click Apply, we'll go ahead and click OK again. And then OK one more time. You'll see now it updates our table. So if we do the precision, we can see that we got 11.5 acres. And we probably want to put acres in here so we can identify that it's acres. So let's go ahead and modify that one more time by selecting it, 
table properties, edit. Let's double click on this. And what we can do is at the end here, we can put dash AC so that we know it's acres, or we can just put acre and click OK and apply and OK. And now you can see it says acre there. Now we could put acre up in the title as well. So I'll show you how to do that while we're here. So if we select that, we'll do it one more time, go back to table properties, edit. We'll go to area, double click on that again. Let's get rid of the acres here. So again, if you missed it the first time, all I did was at the end outside that bracket was I just typed in acres and we'll click OK. So we're getting rid of it there, but let's put it in the header. So the header of the table, if you double left click there, you can see it says area and we could put in parentheses, you know, AC for acres, something like that and apply that you'll see that the AC shows up there. So we know that it's acres. So kind of just shows you different ways to modify that slope table. And now we have a slope analysis of our site.